Let's dive into our discussion of the short story we read this week. I'd like to start by having each of you read a section out loud, and then we can unpack it together. Jada, why don't you kick us off by reading the opening? Alfia crouched behind the tall hedges lining the deserted street, her heart pounding in her chest. The shadows of the night seemed to close in around her as she replayed the scene she had just witnessed. Nicely done. Okay, class, what stands out to you about that opening? What could the author do to make it even more gripping? I think the description of Alfia's heart pounding is a little basic. The author could really amp up the physicality of her fear, like saying her heart was racing, thundering in her ears, fit to burst from her chest. Ooh, I agree. And the line about the shadows closing in, that's already pretty ominous, but the author could take it even further. Maybe something like, the shadows swallowed her up consuming her in their inky black embrace. Excellent suggestions, both of you. Using more visceral, heightened language is a great way to really pull the reader into the character's experience. All right, Miguel, why don't you read the next section? Moments earlier, she had been walking home from her friend's house, the path familiar and comforting. But tonight, something was different. Hmm, interesting. What do you all think about that transition? How could the author make it even more impactful? Well, the contrast between her usual comfortable walk home and the sense that something was different is already pretty compelling. But the author could really drive that home by getting more specific. Maybe something like, the route she had traversed a thousand times before now felt foreign, sinister, as if the very ground beneath her feet had shifted. Oh, I like that a lot. And the author could also amp up the sensory details like describing the eerie silence or the way the shadows seem to loom larger than normal. Wonderful Jada and Alicia. Heightening the contrast and really immersing the reader in Alfia's shifting perceptions is key to building that sense of unease and foreboding. Okay, let's keep going. Alicia, take it away with the next section. But tonight, something was different. The shadows of the night seemed to close in around her as she replayed the scene she had just witnessed. Excellent. Now, class, how could the author build on this to make the middle of the story even more gripping? Well, we've already talked about amping up the shadow imagery, but the author could also dig deeper into Althea's internal experience. Maybe something like, but tonight, an icy dread gripped her, as if the very darkness was closing in, suffocating her, taunting her with the horror she had just seen. Oh, yes. And the author could also play with the pacing, making the sentences more fragmented and breathless to match Althea's mounting panic. The shadows, closing in, the scene replaying over and over, seared into her mind. Wonderful suggestions, you two. Manipulating the language and structure to mirror the character's emotional state is a powerful tool for drawing the reader deeper into the story. Remember, as writers, our job is to transport the audience to make them feel the weight of every moment alongside the protagonist. Using techniques like hyperbole, amplification and precise evocative diction is key to achieving that level of immersion. Keep these tips in mind as you continue developing your own creative writing skills. Mm -hmm.